All right, guys, what's up? This is Rebel Talon. Um, ignore the top uh, ranks. Uh, it's not my greatest. I just stopped there. Uh, the one thing I learned about becoming a warrior in Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and becoming a Yaksa in Tekken Revolution is that uh when you get when you get to a point of higher rank you uh tend to get kicked out of a lot of rooms before you even get a chance to play so i'm kind of taking my time with the whole ranking up thing but uh i am planning to do a full tutorial on Katarina. I'll be doing the same with uh, Horong as well. It's pretty late at night, so I don't actually anticipate anybody to actually show up. But the fact is, uh, I just can't sleep. So I'm going to try this. So before we get into anything, I want to talk about the universal like way way i tend to talk uh a lot of times i'll say forward back down back up uh down back down forward up forward up back and that part i don't actually anticipate to be confusing the part i anticipate to be confusing is like quarter circle forward uh quarter circle back forward quarter circle forward and that's pretty much it uh so if you pay attention to the bottom of the screen you'll see that when i say forward forward quarter circle forward i mean to hit forward and then for a quarter circle forward uh i know there's a different way to explain that but I'm not 100% on how that works, so I just say forward, quarter circle, forward. Uh, there are going to be some moves that are quarter circle. Katarina doesn't have anything. Uh, I just feel like with this being my first tutorial video, this will probably be the first, sorry, heartburn. The first video that actually gets seen and i don't want anybody to get confused in for future videos um so the quarter circle forward as you can see that's not it you want to actually like get down down forward and then forward um and that's a quarter circle move um your for your forward quarter circle move is going to be when you hit tap forward and then you hit your down down forward and forward so it'll be easier whenever i get to horong's video which will be later if i even do it tonight uh, i'm not 100 if i even will so let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing i do want to mention about katarina is her one stance uh i bring these up because to be a valuable Katarina player, you're gonna want to learn her like different ways to get into her stance, and her main way to get into her stance, uh, just to uh, you know be ahead of the game. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first moves I want to get into are her. Rage moves. Now, I'm not usually one to try to tell people how to play the game, but don't be the person in the middle of a fight that just whips out your rage art. The reason I point this out is Katarina, amongst most of Tekken 7's players, uh, end up being in negative frames when it gets blocked. Katarina's is negative 22. So that's why I always try to say 
like do not use these standing up and i'll get more into this later i do plan to do a few uh like makeshift example combos just to kind of like get you guys pumped up i guess uh so if you really don't want to watch the tutorial the whole tutorial uh for some reason since i don't have a computer youtube is making me it's forcing me to do 15 minute minute increments so i would assume just skip to the last video and you can just start getting into the co combos uh i do anticipate katarina's version to only be about 50 minutes uh if even that if you want to get in depth learning horong uh his is gonna end up being a lot longer even if like i try to be quick with these um but the big problem is to actually learn a character takes time if you're one of those people that want to learn a character really really fast and master them right away it's not gonna happen um but so let me just go ahead and do this real quick i'm just gonna show you guys a quick little way that should help you guys uh I'll, you know, maybe get you guys a little pumped up or whatever. And that's really how easy it is to get a rage move into a combo. But like I said, I'll get more into these combos later. I don't want to get into these. Um, so the rage drive that I did is plus five on block. So if you are the kind of person that wants to do anything rage uh, with Katarina, I would strongly suggest the rage drive for the rage art. All right, so the first thing I want to get into is her stance. So the easiest way to get into this is her forward plus four. Now when I say forward plus four, this is one of those things I wanted to mention. Um, forward plus four means you hit the buttons at the same time. Uh, I might end up saying like forward four. It still typically means the same thing. If I do mean something such as you need to hit a direction and then a button, I'll usually say neutral. But we'll get into that later. It won't be in this video. Uh, so before I get in, into any more of her her moves, uh, I do want to mention the number system for those of you who aren't big on fighting games. Because uh, a lot of people that wanted me to teach them the characters didn't understand the number system. And it made everything really, really confusing. So the number system is a 1, 2, 3, 4 system. You have your one button, which if you're on PlayStation, it's going to be your square. Two is going to be your triangle. Three is going to be your X. And your four is going to be your circle. If you're on Xbox, your one is going to be your X. Your two is going to be your Y. Your three is going to be your A. And your four is going to be your B. A lot of times you'll hear me say one plus two. Uh, as you can see at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I hit one and two at the same time. That's what plus means. So if I say one, two, that means you hit one and then two. If I say one plus two, that means you hit them both at the same time. Uh, I'm not going to get really, really big on, on getting into details with that. There's thousands, thousands of videos that would get you uh, a lot more acquainted with those, with the number system. I just trying to give you guys a little introduction so you guys don't get too too confused so make sure you wrote it down if you didn't you know go back and write it down or hopefully you got a good memory because uh that's how i tend to talk i don't i don't say x y a b or whatever i just it's just not in my nature uh another thing to keep in mind is um I do tend to get absent-minded a lot, so if I say one two, but the real but the move ends up being like one four, uh, just be paying attention to the bottom right hand of the screen. That's why I actually have it up. 
I've been known to say something else that I meant when I meant something else. I've been known to say one thing and meant something else, but for some reason the other thing came out of my mouth. So just make sure you're paying attention to that so uh, you don't get too confused. Um, so, and whatever I do mess up on, throw it in the comment section down below and I'll get to it. Um, and if you do, if you find this video at all useful or you know, you find yourself more of a Katarina player later on because of my stuff, drop a like and subscribe. And I do plan on doing more of these videos. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into her uh, key moves and pokes. I always put those two together just because most people's pokes are usually intertwined with their key moves. And it's better to just get them both out of the way so that when we get into the more complex stuff later, uh, it, it's easier and we don't have to go back. And it makes the video a little shorter. Uh, and I'll mention these moves that are quote unquote key moves as we go forward. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So her first little thing is going to be her 1 1 and her 1 2. Uh, so, her, so both of these are, uh, 10 startup frames. Um, you have her 1-1 one, one does 17 damage, and you have her 1-2, which also does 17 damage. It's 10 frame startup either way. Uh, let's see. Your 1-1. One, one, is going to be minus one on block. Um, so that's good. Um, if you only do the one, that's actually plus one on block. So if you end up doing, let's say, one and then four. Unless somebody does like a natural, like a quick jab. Uh, Katarina is almost always going to beat them. And if you do manage to get the four on counter, it becomes a combo. I'll get into that stuff later. Um, so yeah, got your one one. It's a minus one on block, so it's still not bad. You should you should be able to get like a down jab or something like that relatively quick. And then you also have your one two. It's minus three on block, so they're all still relatively uh, safe. Now. Keep in mind, anything that's typically generally a plus frame is usually something where you can follow it up with something else and be safe with it. And anything at zero, usually you can end up trading with a person. And anything after zero, like a minus one frame, uh, you can either end up trading or getting punished. That's not usually always the case, but keep in mind it can happen. Uh, sometimes there's special circumstances. Um, so if you're one of those people that are always trying to find plus frame moves, yeah, that's never gonna work out. So let's go ahead and finish this up. So we got one one two, or no, we should do one 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 first. So you got one one one. Uh, it's a high high mid does 7 10 and 23 damage obviously you can't see because I have my I have my guard set up for my CPU action that's just to make sure they don't get knocked down or something so I can just do this uh, that's gonna be minus 4 on block 